I have here the Samsung Gear 360, the latest model, and the Huawei 360 camera. And well, let's find out, uh, are they good? Uh, should you buy them? And let's see, this is the moment of true. Uh, let's see how the pictures will look, uh, how the videos uh, look uh, with, uh, with this, uh, this camera. Anyway, as you can know, the Samsung Gear 360 has two cameras. Each uh, camera has 8 megapixel, 8.4 if I'm not mistaken. The Huawei has two lenses, each has 13 megapixel, uh, megapixels. These are the images taken with the Samsung Gear. They look super nice. Uh, they are taken in low light conditions. It's winter, it's uh, almost night here. And uh, these pictures are inside, as you can see here. I, I like more the Samsung Gear 360 because it has a better quality, a better 360 um, surrounding, if I may call it in this way, than the Huawei 360. Uh, on the phone, they will look like this. You have a lot of options here. You have uh, motion view, you have the reset, you have the 360 degree view options. Also, you can choose which lens to be shown first. Here, as I said, you have the motion view, you have the reset button. And here you can choose how to to watch these uh, these pictures and these videos. Uh, my favorite is the stretched option. It will look um, this one. It looks uh, it look it looks better than uh, anything else. Anyway, the quality. Uh, don't expect uh, too much from these cameras because they have. Uh, 8 megapixels and the Huawei for example 13 megapixels but when you take a picture um, you will take a 360 degrees picture so all that um, all that information the resolution and the megapixels uh, you will not have uh, them condensed in a normal picture you will have um, a 360 picture and in this way the quality will not be so great because imagine this picture made from four pictures uh, and after that just divide uh, the resolution and the megapixels um, with these four pictures and so you'll get a lower lower numbers I don't know if I said it correctly uh, I will I will try to repeat it. Uh, for example, you have here a 4K, uh, a 4K video. Well, that 4K resolution will not be for this screen, what you see here in this moment. This is only a part of the 360 degree um, image or video. So all that resolution is for all that 360 degree image or video so for this part only where, where you can see me here um, you have only a small part of that resolution so you'll have less details and less information and in this way you will not benefit from the um, from uh, from those lenses to have a super nice video or a super nice picture we will need to have in the future at least at least uh, 16k resolution cameras because in that way you will have a real um, 4k image and a 4k video if you have a, a 16k resolution 360 degree camera only then you'll have um, a very good picture like the one you will take with your smartphone this is the reality so don't expect miracles from these cameras uh, they are super nice it's nice to have one you can take with a single click uh, one image like this a 360 degree image or video you can uh, keep your memories um, it's nice to have something like this anyway 
and to watch it on your smartphone. As you can see here, this is the resolution for, uh, for this video. So anyway, you won't have a real 4K video because you will watch only a part uh, of a 4K uh, image and that, that's why it will not be so great. Anyway, on the phone, the images and the videos will look great if you watch them on a laptop, on your TV or on a bigger screen, they are awful. Um, at least I found um, uh, on Samsung forums some instructions, uh, even the producer says uh, watch these uh, images and videos on your smartphone because they look very good there. On a bigger screen, not so good. So. Here I have some uh, images and videos from the Huawei 360 camera. As I said, they are good, but the Samsung Gear 360 it's better. It has uh, better information, b uh, ni uh, better colors, and uh, this movement, this uh, 360 degree scroll, it's well, very good on the Samsung Gear. Here on Huawei, uh, as you will see here in this video, it's not so great. I don't know why, but it's not so amazing. And uh, to be honest, I don't really like it because when you scroll it, you will see this strange effect, something like this. I don't like it. On the uh, video taken with the Samsung Gear 360, everything looks great. Uh, so it's a software problem, software optimization anyway, and uh, that's it. So I hope you um, you have all the information now about the 360 degree degrees cameras. Uh, any 360 degree camera you will buy, you will get something like this, and you will have the same problem. Uh, all that. Um, screen all that uh, resolution will be divided by four and you'll have not so many information not so many details anyway everything will look uh, interesting on your uh, smartphone but not on a bigger screen it's nice to have something like this it depends on you thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks